This episode is brought to you by. Hey yo, what's good all you saucers on a waffle cone? It's your boy, Geo Gum. I don't think I need to say anything else about the fit. I feel like I'm dripping as hard as I've ever been. You already know what it is. As always, my man, full of friends behind the camera. I got my man, Benji's, Brody B, the producer. If y'all hungry, to be serving up culture and saucers, this is Eat Local. All right, we back. Uh, Vernon, New York, Route 5. Where are we at? Three Bastards. Three, Three Bastards, Bastards Brewing. Eat local. KB. Listen, we, got we pulled Sean. up. We ready to eat something crazy like waffles stuffed with pulled pork. You guys hungry? Listen, starving. <laughs> I hope y'all hungry because we're serving up culture, you softies. This is Eat Local. Eat local. All right, so we're back. Uh, Three Bastards Brewing, Vernon, New York, Route 5, with uh, Chef Ron. Ron, how are you? Good, dude. Doing all right. So uh, first and foremost, how long have you been cooking? About 20 years. 20 years, probably all over the area, all, all over the place. The area. And uh, what, what makes this spot different than any other place that you've been at? Uh, the atmosphere and, you know, the food is the best in the area. I mean, food's good. Mostly good most places in the area, but we wanted to take it a next step over the top. So. And you were telling me a little bit about uh, how the preparation was before you guys put out the menu. Talk a little bit about that. So we wanted to take upscale bar food, right, and step it up a notch. We did about seven months of research on this menu. Uh, a lot of trials and tribulations. The owner had pretty pretty high bar that we wanted to set. So you feel like the reefs are pretty good. You can tell though because the whole place is uh, set up. To an extreme, yeah. if you will, yeah. and then you bring out something like the um, stuffed waffle with with a uh, pulled pork, the brisket that smoked 12 hours. I feel like everything here is just up in the ante. Yeah. And uh, how would you explain um, this place to someone who's never heard of it or never been here before? What would you want them to know? The brewery atmosphere would draw you in. The food and the beer that we have, the system that we have, would keep you coming back and calling your friends to come. It was kind of the goal when we set it up, the way we set it up, the atmosphere with the fireplaces, the whole nine yards, just to, to be a brewery, to, but to be a brewery, two with, levels With up. great food. Right. Yeah, and you can definitely, uh, so, I mean, they got a beautiful pizza oven over here. Um, the stations back here are set up ridiculous. The food that they're pumping out, Route 5, Vernon, New York, absolutely crazy. One more question. Uh, what does Eat Local mean to you when you hear it? Eat Local? It means it, what's important. It's supporting your local community is you know, keynote. It, it has to be done. A lot of restaurants don't make it, especially now. After COVID, I think more are failing than, than are succeeding. So eating local helps and just keep it running. I mean, good people, good food, great atmosphere. That's it. Could have said about any better myself. Ron, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Everybody's got to come on down, uh, see, see Chef Ron, see the staff, hang out, watch the games, and uh, eat local. All right, so we back. Uh, Three Bastards Brewing, Chef Ron. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say, but hopefully he does. Ron, explain to us a little bit about this place, right. Chef. So you said everything's scratch made. Um, our empanadas are made authentic uh, by a pair of sous chefs that we have that are from Colombia. Uh, dough, corn masa, stuffed with a potato pepper chicken mixture. Uh, sofrito salsa, which is a pepper tomato slow cook salsa. Chipotle aioli, right? Smash bastard, of course. House cup fries. Vinegar water soaked for three days, double fried crispy, toasted brioche bun. Uh, we have two patties, super cured American cheese. Beneath the patties are smashed tater tots seasoned with our barbecue spice. Between the patties, we have a red onion marmalade, sweet and spicy, uh, barbecue spice bacon, super over easy. It doesn't really need a sauce. You can add it if you want. But over here, again, same house cut fries. This is the Wicked Chicken Sandwich. He said if we didn't get this chicken sandwich, he said it's the best chicken sandwich It's the in best the in the area, for sure. Yeah, so same toasted brioche, uh, the Wicked sauce, she was kind of, Teresa was explaining to you in the back, of mayonnaise, barbecue base, with a lot of other stuff. Big juicy thigh, uh, seasoned flour, fried to perfection. 
Hey man, Chef Ron, I cannot wait to try this food. For one, what's this called again? Smash Bastard. Smash Bastard. I I'm gonna be a Smash Bastard after this one. <laughs> we got the Rockin' Fidiculous coming out. That's Rockin' Fidiculous. Chef Ron, thank you very much. Hot honey that we make here. Hot honey. Hot honey. I syrup love to and hear hot honey. Syrup and uh, pepper flakes. We drown that in this, like so. Then I come over here to my trusty warmer. Pull out my brisket. Hot hands. And listen, you know, if you've watched the show, viewers, uh, we love a good brisket on this show. That's a 12 hour smoke. 12 hour smoke. Yep, by Chef Ron. Brisket on a waffle? It does. It, it's pork huge. Pulled pork stuffed waffle. That's crazy. But, oh, yes, I forgot to tell you that there is pulled pork in that waffle. Okay. Where did, you, where did you guys come up with this? Like I said, months of research. Months of right. research. We didn't want to do just a plain brisket. And this is our I house slaw. It's made with wicked sauce. And that's a big seller here as well. And then we just dress it up a little. That's the house made um, spicy This is sauce. wicked sauce, wicked yep. Sauce. And then some barbecue sauce. And then we give it a little Ooh. dance. And there you have it. You hold guys out. are ready to hold eat. Hold it right out to the camera for us. Made by yours truly. Come check it out. Three Bastards Brewing, Vernon, New York, Route 5. Check my resume. I don't think that you should start with me. I come with juice. You don't really want the sauce with me, bitch. I'm dripping. Came from the basement to the kitchen. Now we cooking up. Really started from the bottom. Now we going up. Still running in this motherfucker. Yes, Gio. All right, listen. We back. Route 5, Vernon, New York. Yeah. Three Bastards Brewing. Listen, Chef Ron told us this is the best food around the area. Okay. Listen. That's that's a high that's a high Bro, praise. That you know we high. got my man Keith around here, does it? KB. The wing guy. I'm in the building. T local. First and foremost, they put brisket on a waffle. <laughs> looks crazy. And what they also did was stuff the waffle with pulled pork. Bro, that's some next level shit. Hold on shit. a second. Some next level shit. There's hot honey on the waffle. No, there isn't. Yes, is there, there is. <laughs> Yo, they're doing, listen. Then there's the, uh... This is crazy. Is that like a homemade slaw or something? Homemade slaw with their homemade sauce. They put... Bro. They put brisket on a waffle. We got to Never seen out. it before in my life. Let's dive in. I'm... You're going for the brisket right away? This is a crime. I don't know how they're getting away with I this. Gotta, I got to see that brisket, that brisket hitting for... I'm getting get some a slaw on this motherfucker real quick. Get a little sliver of that. I know we get a slaw. Ooh. That's how you know that. That brisket, listen, no utensils needed. Listen, oh, yeah, I, can, I can tell. It's pulling apart like butter. Take Ooh. that, take that. Oh, my gosh. The brisket. That, that's cooked just right. I can tell he slow cooked it. Long. Pause. Pause. That thing, he cooked that thing long and slow. That, that That's a very. Pause. Listen, you know I'm a beef guy. Pause. Damn. <laughs> I know my beef though. I know the quality. Pause. <laughs> Listen, we being we being honest right now. What's happening? We know food. We foodies. I'm not gonna That's lie. That's quality. That that might be some certified Angus beef right 12, there. 12, 12, 12 hours smoked brisket, yeah, and it's on brisket. a waffle. That brisket. Look at that thing. That's, That's stuffed with bull pork. These guys are fucking committing a felony. They just fall apart. Look at that thing. You look at the utensil, bro. Like butter. Yeah, it's A1. Side note, I tried, tried with the slaw. I tried the slaw. Um, we both got to get a spoonful of the slaw. Ridiculous. With, with that. Mm, cheers. Oh, man, this is so savage, bro. Savage shit. Slaw is A1. All right. I'm about to finish this dish up. You dry a waffle, I'll dry a waffle, and then we're passing it on over. Bro. Grab a waffle. I'll grab a portion of the waffle, because that thing looked crazy. Come on, bro. You're soft for that Just one. A bite, Beavis. It's a difference. Look at that fucking... Look at that, the difference. I want to take a solid bite and enjoy it. I'm this fool a wants a fucking bite. one bite the whole thing. Solid waffle. Bro, the hot sauce, the sweet savory of the, of the, of the waffle. I didn't think it would go with the slaw, but... Honestly, I can't really taste the uh, pulled pork. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> wow, that even that slaw is, is mm. fresh veggies. Found it. Fresh veggies. The waffle's fresh. Yeah, 
that's that's next level. All I know is come grab the shit. That's all I know. That's that, that's next level right here. We got a medley of food. Like this is everything looks crazy. Chicken sandwich. Look at the cutlet on this chicken. Look at look at that burger. Talk about these a little bit. What, 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 what is uh? Cause these don't look like normal empanadas. Right, hold on one second, bro. You said those are real, really from Colombia, though. Yeah, no, not from Colombia. They got two Colombian sous chefs who put these together. I'm not gonna lie to you, this fucking waffle is crazy as shit. Honestly, it's really fluffy. I'm, I'm really happy on how the hot honey seeped in to yeah, the they, waffle, bro. It does, I and mean, it's got a that kick to it. That spice that it hits you with. You taste it on your lips. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's on point. I'm not gonna lie, man. That shit's on point. Yo, yo, three bastards, bro. I had no idea. I had no idea. That's the kind. Of, that's the type of shit they're cranking out. Yeah. All right. So we got the sous chef made Colombian empanadas. Me and KB gotta try it out. I'm gonna cut one in half for him and I. They got one with the um, aioli. That's house made. Everything's house made. Aioli. Aioli. Yo, I love. I love a homemade aioli, man. Love them. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm Yo, I'm solid. Take, I'm taking well, a little bit of my. He's a little hefty. Wine. A little lime juice on there. Right here. A little lime juice on there. Appreciate you. All right. I'm going. I'm going with the dried bite, not dried bite, because we got the lime on it. But I'm gonna take that bite and then try yeah. it with the sauce. Woo! That's fucking amazing. That chicken. It's like a season. It almost tastes like a. The chicken with like a seasoned mashed potato or something. And listen, we cut one in half. If I throw this at somebody across the bar right now, they're going to sleep. You see this shit? That's the same, uh, that's the same thing crack not eat a while Yo, one thing we gotta emphasize, man, this shit is fresh. Fresh. The bread, fresh. you can taste yeah. the freshness. They made these to order. They weren't sitting around. This is, this is solid. This is right here. Good we gotta try that out. Finish it already. Oh man, here. Listen. These right here? Hold on a minute. You gotta try it. What's the history on it? You said the sous chef is Colombian? The sous chefs are Colombian. Yo. They put Paul Park in a waffle. You take a salad a little. This is the aioli. Go oh, with the salsa. A no, what's that? Sofrito? Sofrito. Sofrito? Fire. Talk to me about the sauce. That aioli, I would put that on anything. I put it on chicken, I put it on beef, I put it on that brisket. That that's a solid, solid sauce. Wow. Solid. Well whatever that filling is in those empanadas. The funny thing is about bro, we're on Route 5 in Vernon, New York. Getting some food like this. Next level food. This is some like real eat local shit. Like 20 minutes from Utica. Like you're gonna get a solid, solid meal. I've even got a blueberry bomb, some wild beer. They, they, they got, listen, they got some shit here. They got a bunch of beers. We're gonna dive into that a little bit later. They got some shit here. But let me talk about the fries. So uh, Chef Ron says they uh, soak these in vinegar for 12 hours. You can taste it too. Uh, they're super crispy. I'm pretty sure they use peanut oil here. As well as Fuller made a good point. It's like a salt and vinegar chip and a fry, French fry. That's a great, that's great insight from yeah, my man. Take that fry. I, I want to dip this in that aioli. What aioli? Oh, back end dip. I got to do a back end dip. I, I bit the other end. For all you, you uh, germaphobes out there, you know, take that back. Good. You dip it? Oh, wow. House made aioli. That's some next level shit. Yep. Oh, shit. I respect the chefs here at Three Bastards, man. They doing it right. They doing it right. That chicken cutlet, bro. So, Chef Chef Ron did not let us not have this this sandwich. He said that this is the best chicken sandwich bro. in the area. Look at the chicken sandwich. I'm gonna cut this shit up in fours though, real quick. Yo, that's kind of crazy so you too. Want some for that chicken? Cause I'm Next. looking at it. It looks like a real chicken cutlet. Like they really filleted that. 
butterfly, butterfly it open, yep. breaded it. It's like country fried almost. Yeah, country fried. Solid though, man. On the brioche bun. I'm not, Don't yeah. forget that detail. On the listen, brioche. If you're not serving brioche, you're not serving buns. Chef Ron said that it took like eight months of research before they came together with uh, what they were bringing out here, and um, I'm excited. You got the portions. You got it portioned out. It's a solid chicken sandwich right there. It's a solid chicken sandwich right there. That's a solid chicken sandwich bite. That Where is. Where the portion? Yes, sir. Where the portion? We're, um, listen, we're next so, level. This, next this, level. I don't even understand. Like, the way the uh, hot honey seeps into the waffle. And Amazing. the waffle, like, it's so, the waffle's so fluffy. The bite's nice. Um, the pulled pork's honestly hard to find, but I get the flavoring in, in there. Like, it's not overpowering. Like, you can barely notice it's even in the actual waffle. Um, for one, he tried to use a fork with the brisket. It fell right apart. He had to just grab it with his the aioli hand. though. On the aioli over here. You could put that on anything. Yeah. Literally. Anything. The empanadas are like one thing he, he just stated on camera is like freshness. You can taste how everything is made yeah. with love and freshness. 100%. And uh, the fries are killer. Well I think that's the first thing we all said was like these, these are great. They're like a salt and vinegar chip in a french fry. Yeah. They're delicious. 100%. Absolutely delicious. And we're just getting to the uh, the chicken sandwich you're now. You're taking a bite. Oh, no, you're fine. But we're just getting yeah, here. Thank you, though. And yeah, uh, we're excited right. to try this one. You're doing it right. Let's take a bite of that thing, man. All right. Take a bite of that thing. So, Cheers, salut, man. chicken sandwich. Oh, man. Ooh. Y'all did yourselves. Very, very solid. What? Solid. Wow, the bun is so soft. Mm. The bite that you get in this sandwich, right through the chicken is flaky, soft, and crispy. The breading tastes very, very good. It's got a lot of flavor, and but the, it's simple. The hot honey. It's simple. The hot honey kicks it up crazy. Yeah, and nah, the solid. Pickle. And the pickle, bro. Fresh this pickles. Ain't no regular pickle. They might be cutting them themselves. You think they cut? They got their, they, yo, they cut pickles back there, bro. They got pickle cutters. Yo, eat, this is some real next level eat local shit. We can appreciate this, man. We can appreciate this. Seriously, three bastards. I'll say this. I did the getting chicken sandwich. I did the I did the city sandwich. This is a good fucking sandwich right here. Rex. This chicken sandwich is elite. And they said it was the best in the area. I, I mean, honestly, bro, I haven't had a better one in a while. Brody D said he wants to start reviewing chicken sandwiches. We got to bring them here. My hands are dripping. My face is Whatever salt you're yeah, This shit is crazy. Good. And what's crazy is it's very simple. The bun, fresh chicken, and pickles. pickles. And that little With the sauce. sauce they got. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. You can still taste some waffles, though. Mmm. Solid, man. Eat local. Route 5, Burn New York. Three, Three bastards, stores. man. You guys are doing it right over here. You know what it looks like? It looks like a fancy ass French pizza. <laughs> like a homemade joint though. Like, like some French, French bread, yeah. French bread. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> I don't know if it's chicken. It's French bread. Chicken. It looks like buffalo chicken. Uh, th there's no explanation, they just said we had to try a flatbread. He also said that this isn't even the best one, but here you go. But, I, but so, he did say it's a staple here. Yes, he said, if so should, people he said we these. can't be here and not try this. I'm gonna go yeah, ahead over there. Order. Corner whore. Listen, I'm not a corner whore, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a corner whore. Whoa. That shit looks hot as fuck. the cheese pull. Big cheese pull. Salute, man. Cheers. My man. All right. See what that thing here for. It's hot as fuck, man. I want to burn the roof of my mouth. You up? Know? Oh, it's good. It's tasting. Cook them. Buffalo and chicken. Buffalo chicken flatbread. Some mustard on it? Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a thin bread slice. Not too spicy. The cheese is good. Chicken chunks are fucking huge. Pause. Yo, dip it in that. Now, hell no. <laughs> you know what, though? Try it. Oh, yeah. Go. For our yeah. Elo, our yeah. Elo yeah. audience, yeah. big dab will do ya. No, you gotta take that. You see that little bit, little. Really, 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 with it. Dab of mustard. 
took the Squidward bite when he ate the Krabby Patty. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty good because I knew what I was, I knew what I was expecting, like, because I've already been through it. But wow. Baby almost ran out the fucking door. <laughs> that's like that saying, like I said, that's too much mustard. No, this is too a, much mustard. They put too much mustard <laughs> on there. Like, like literally though. No, no, like we're not talking figuratively here. This is it's too much. They mustard. said, hold on a second. I'm talking, I like mustard. I gotta talk to Chef Ryan like because they said they didn't put nothing else hot in here. Pizza's pizza salad though. I don't know. Pizza salad homemade. That's, that's like the rock didn't take steroids or something. I don't know. But that's a sour homemade flatbread right here. Sour homemade flatbread. Quality cheese. It's not too spicy. They said it was a buffalo? Mm-hmm. You can taste that uh, uh, hot sauce base, though. Yeah, you definitely taste that. It's like a garlic bread, right? There must be uh, the dough, man. Whatever, all their, everything they got, the, all their bread products, it's all fresh. Like, they might be baked. Listen, that thing. Eat local, man. Be Have a flat bread. Try the mustard. Have a good day. Thoroughly impressed. All right, y'all, so they came out. They took our, they took our uh, dinner away, and they said they got a couple more things for us. Uh, these things look greasier than two WWE superstars Yo. on a Monday night. They look like they spun them shit themselves. Buttered up. buttered up. This ain't no Annie Ann shit either. Uh, oh, shit, it's hot as fuck. It ain't kind of oily. God damn. That's that fresh butter. Yo, no, no bullshit, though, man. But this is this is this, what, is, this is some A1 shit. But this is what they said. No hot shit in that No Nothing hot. Nothing hot. What in the world is that? Listen. That, that's, 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 that's a real e local shit. Here, let's let's here, let's break into this. Let's break into this. Oh, but it's hot temperature wise. Yeah? Yeah, let's Alright, so he he said the, the, the mustard's hot. But there's nothing put in the mustard to make it hot. You heard me? You said the mustard's hot. They said this is like one of the, the top sellers right here. They bottled this up. Ooh, yeah. ooh, it looks like it's got, got, a, got a thick consistency. Let me see. The viscosity of it. Thickness to it. That viscosity of it. Shit look like nacho cheese. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. 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 Wow. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Eat it That mustard right there? Should have warned me. <laughs> Yo. That, that, that was, uh... You gotta try that. That's good that, that was an eating experience I didn't expect. <laughs> mustard was A1, though. Very strong mustard flavor. You can tell they're making that... They might be grounding that mustard back there themselves. Like, listen. It's almost like a, uh... What is that? Is that Grey Poupon or Dijon? <laughs> Yo, is that Grey Poupon or Dijon? Yo, that shit tastes like... <laughs> Yo, I don't even know what the <laughs> what they call it, bro. It's like a stone. <laughs> yo, yo, keep all of that. Yo, yo, that shit. Like, yo, like what you said. You recorded it. That shit got was sound good. Yo, listen, it's really good. Bro. Don't get the yo, these reactions. These are real reactions. Geo Gum KB. Come on, man. Listen. Bro, I tried it live with you. What do you mean I played you? Son, bro. That was so funny. That shit, he local. That shit hit me with the hook afterwards too. Holy shit! Yeah, that shit, that shit. Yo, you know what's crazy though? It's ten o'clock. So when I bit into it, it started. The smell of it went up my nostrils. So like, it kind of cleared my sinuses, and then hit my taste buds at the same time. So I didn't really know how to react. I was kind of like, it was almost orgasmic. It was a stimulant. There was a stimulant effect to it. But your boy's good now. Shout out to Three Bastards, man. I got, you know, when people say there's too much mustard on it, yeah, it might be. It's too much mustard, man. A little less, a little less. A little less mustard seed. That's the mustard they're talking about right there. When they had that That's why they keep coming back for it. I'm high as a kite. All right, so uh, we're back here, uh, Route 5, Vernon, New York. 
Three Bastards Brewing. We're here with David. David, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you today? I'm doing okay. All first right. and foremost, um, this is my first time eating uh, here at Three Bastards. This place is, uh, it takes everything to the next level. The setup in here, the food, everything's just up in the ante. Um, explain to people who don't know or haven't been here, um, you know, what it, what it is. What is uh, Three Bastards Brewing? So Three Bastards really started based on there being a lack of, of places here for the people coming to the weddings locally to go to. So I said, all right, we're going to put something in play where they can come before or after the weddings, have a nice time, you know, pick up their cars in the morning, come in for brunch on Sundays, that kind of thing. And I thought that really the wedding people here locally with all the different wedding venues in Vernon would support it, but it just really took off. And it, people come from everywhere. Um, yeah, what was really important, because I knew we were going to be limited on what we brewed, so we only brew a couple of beers. And the reason we only do the two beers is because those two beers are also fit, featured on all of the wedding venues. Okay. And I didn't want to get into that whole business. I said, all right, so let's bring on a couple of things. Number one, let's bring on really different eclectic beers from everywhere, stuff that nobody else has that I have to bring in from all over the country. Not the easiest task, but we have different things. Um, so that was big. So we could be a great beer experience, but let other people do the heavy lifting there. Right. Food-wise, I just knew if we carried on what we do at the other venues that we could really make something special. So my thing is everything scratch, and I mean everything. I've used, as you experienced, I'm, I'm talking about mustard and sauces and salad dressings. We ground our own beef. We smoke, the, we smoke about uh, 150 briskets a week. That's crazy. We make every single thing from scratch, everything other than the ketchup. I always joke and say it, but it's true. We make everything. So the food experience is the next level. Um, I also look at other breweries, and really they're more of a beer experience with food trucks, things like that. I really want it to be a food experience. And then the last piece that we take to another level is the entertainment. We do live music. Um, Thursdays and Sundays, we're adding live music uh, Wednesdays with the huge stage we're building for an outdoor event all summer. Um, we're also with the games, football games. Uh, we're a Bills bar, but we have all the games on all the time. Uh, Syracuse games, and uh, we give you a, a different experience. If, if you're ever here for a Bills game or know somebody that's been, once, once you're in for a Bills game here, you're hooked. The things we do are just again next level right. so that's yeah. what we try to do it this is everything i ever wanted in a bar the big bar tons of fireplaces you can come in and sit around a fire one of the five of them with our all fire tables and fires inside garage doors and just everything over the top lots of tvs i, I just wanted it to be a place you walked in and felt comfortable so and you can tell you know you do you guys pay attention to the details whether it be the food, how fresh the food really tasted and was prepared, you can definitely tell. And then the, the atmosphere, uh, he's not lying. Big TVs, um, TVs everywhere. The layout of the kitchen is crazy. Um, the, the thing that he's talking about when you walk in and you can sit around the fire, there's like a real fire. People sit around the fire in the middle of this place. And this is Route 5 in Vernon. When he's telling you that there's nothing else like this around here, he's not lying. Um, what would you like to, uh, what, what's the one dish that you'd like people to come here and try if you had to pick one? Man, that's so hard for me. People ask me that all the time. It, it, it's tough because there's different times where I love different dishes, right? Man, you come here and order a chicken sandwich, our wicked chicken sandwich. You would think, oh, a chicken sandwich. When you order that, that's still a raw piece of chicken. Like we're breading and frying to order. You order guacamole we got to cut open the avocado like there is it's it just depends on what you're in the mood for um you know it, our, our ruck and fidiculous which is our brisket you tried the brisket i'd put that against everybody the dishes you didn't try are i would have you say in wow like i you know it's you just got to come and try it for yourself. People, once they come, they come back. There's no question about it. Well, I, I can definitely see that. Definitely agree with that because I'll be back for sure. Uh, my cameraman said this is one of his favorite spots that we've been to uh, so far. 
So, um, what, how would you describe? Uh, talk a little bit about, about the mustard, real quick, because the mustard is it's ridiculous. So, talk, just talk a little so bit. So that's Grandma mustard. Gigi's mustard recipe. Okay. Um, it's not the easiest to make. I, I describe it as almost like a, uh, I call it mustard custard. Like you make it like you would make a fresh custard, but with mustard seed. People go crazy about it. We bottle that. We bottle the. Our wicked sauces is another thing. We can't bottle them fast enough. We're gonna to start to get into mass production. I bring in 40, 50 bottles, it's gone. Within the week, it's gone. Um, we you can't can, keep can up with it. Yeah. Um, you know, Three Bastards just by itself is fun and funny. I mean, to be honest with you. Where did the name come from? <laughs> Me and my two brothers are Three Bastards. I mean, it's that <laughs> simple, go. so. I like that. Um, did your brothers work here? No, no, they're not involved with the business. I. It was you just know, in the name. The truth is I, I was out with my brothers and I jokingly said I should name it Three Bastards. Well, one of my brothers got so offended, I figured, ah, that's the right name if you're yeah, that offended. Absolutely. So that's what we went with. But just in the more offensive we do the merch, I mean, uh, the more it sells, people love it. They just love the whole the whole part about it. So uh, we got some good shit. I don't know if you saw our Noel yeah, Bill no, Fuck got, t-shirts, we, but we, they roll. We've I mean, seen them over there. They look pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, even our... Our elf uh, Santa shirts that say Santa knows you're a bastard. Like, it's just funny, right? Yeah. It's all supposed to be like that. Creative. Life, man. Yeah, 100%. It's fun. That's Gotta it. have fun here. You only live once. That's um, it. Hey, if you come here, you're offended, just like we tell everybody else. Apple Betty's is across the street. Go there. So, Apple yeah, Betty's is across the street. It is right across the street. So, if you come in and we offend you, well, then we're, you're in the wrong place because we're not changing the shit we do. Hey, so that's respectable. Um, I just got to get one more from you. Um, what does eat local mean to you when you hear it? Oh, I mean support local. It means support your local people. It means fresh. It means quality for the most part. You know, that's, that's a biggie. Um, for me, you can certainly pick one of the big boxes, but I try personally when I'm not here, same thing, always eating local, always trying to tip big. I mean, you know, you got to support each other that's the only thing we can do you know there's plenty of mcdonald's in the world and i get it like that's the crazy it blows my mind that people will spend 13 bucks for that versus come here and experience this but you know there's care there's love it's important eat local is is just about uh if if you're if you're a restaurant and you take that serious and not just mean support me because, mm -hmm. but really take it serious. Then your quality and your caring is off the off the charts, and that's what we're. That's what this place is about. If you come here and you don't think everything we did has been done with pride and love, then then you don't get it because that's how it works. You can definitely tell, right here, uh, Vernon. To give the full location for everybody viewing. So this is uh, 5349 State Route 5 in Vernon. Um, if people know, a lot of people know Dibbles in Mason Jar, right in the midst of all of that. Um, so same side of the road too. Same side of the road. Yep. Don't even make you cross the street. <laughs> there you go, man. Hey, David, thank you very much yeah, for having us. My pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Um, come on, check it out now. You watch this eat. You seen the inside. You talk to David. You talk to Ron. What else? What else? What else can we do here? Run over here. Don't walk. Run. They call her chocolate cherries. They call her chocolate cherries. Cherries? They call her chocolate cherry. Hey. Chocolate cherries. Hey now. Chocolate cherries. Hey now, listen. Uh, three Bastards Brewing. Um, they got 36 beers on, on tap. That's wild to hear. Also, they uh, brew these three that we're trying for you right now. This one's called the Call Her. They call her chocolate cherry. Yo, yo, it do sound crazy. It sound crazy. <laughs> they call her, they yeah, call her chocolate crazy. cherries. Okay. So. Chocolate cherries. It's a dark beer. I don't know shit about beer. That shit looks like an ice cold Pepsi. <laughs> it does look like an ice cold Pepsi like with Pepsi, the foam bro. on top and shit. It's dark. Ain't nothing wrong with dark though. Whoa! Sheesh! Is that a Guinness? It's got like a Guinness flavor? I think it's got espresso in it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna uh, wake you up. That's gonna, gonna wake you up and push you down. <laughs> Solid though? It's pretty good. It's, Solid? I feel like it's strong as shit. It looks strong. It looks strong. I'm a, I'm a dark liquor guy. I don't know about nothing about beers. I just know that this one right here, uh, uh, strong as shit. About as strong as that mustard. 
Yo, that mustard was strong, bro. It's an imperial chocolate stout. It's an imperial chocolate stout. Yes. Mom's. <laughs> What's her name? Wow. So imperial. Imperial. What? Uh, imperial chocolate stout. Man. Imperial chocolate stout. So it's like that Guinness. Someone's mom's stripper name. Yeah. So we got we got the wedding day IPA. Let's see what it's looking like. It looking like it's like a got like orange zest to it almost. Oh, it does. Oh. Oh. Hold on. It's almost like a like a, a, a blue moon. Yeah, this is. I can drink this. We get loose with this. You know what I mean? Yeah, you want to try it? Come on, try it off. This is a who's your daddy right here. It's good. It tastes like a, it's like a pale ale type thing. You know what I mean? It's got a nice little flavor to it. I can't really like pinpoint the exact flavor, but it's got a nice little sweetness to it. It's like a Levant. Yeah, similar, similar, but very good. Not too dark. It's not too dark. It's got a nice sweetness to it though. I like it. Lager, five five percent. So that's a who's your daddy? Solid beer, man. Three bastards. Dude, um, bro, listen, that shit was a vibe, bro. Super vibe. What? Super fried. Real upstate New York weather too. Super hot. Be local. Super cold. Three I can't freaking believe this, bro. They put a brisket on a waffle. That thing was amazing. A brisket on the waffle. The burger. Pressure. Pressure. The aioli, homemade. Dude, yeah. the servers, the people, Listen, Riley, everything. they were all great. Great, Riley. yo, shout, great shout draft beer selection. Great draft beer selection. The the vibe. Listen, three bastards, man. She was a vibe. And if you can't really forget about it either, uh, they put a, a brisket on a waffle. Bro, the brisket was like <laughs> brisket on the waffle. Like <laughs> jelly, like tech, bro. A one. Three bastards. Oh, dude, the hot mustard. Come try the hot mustard right here on Route 5, Verdon, New York. Burn your face off, burn your tongue off, and have yourself 36. If you're having sinus problems, open Yo, right clear up. everything up. <laughs> solid. Super solid. 36 everything. draft A1. beers, Vernon, New York, right by the Mason Jar, Dibbles Inn, Sunoco. E local, don't be sorry. Serving up culture. Yes. And the chocolate fucking cake, man. Yo, this shit is, this is not nasty. I want, some, I, want, I want someone random to try this fucking cake with us. This shit not nasty. It tastes way lighter than you would expect it. Let me try to try. Bro, it tastes, look, it, it, you think it's heavy. Sip it. Oh, it is. It tastes like Dr. Pepper. It's mad light. It's weird, though. Yo, it does taste like coffee. It do taste like coffee.